Evening everybody, welcome to some late night hypermine. How's it going? Right, so I've done a little bit of work in here. Um I've got some assembly chambers and I'm gonna build well all of these are gonna be assembly chambers. Most of them are going to be crafting CPUs. Not because I need more than these two, which are this one is seven crafting CPUs and one pattern uh provider because it for some reason it wouldn't go without it. I think you need one of each in each one anyway. And that one's uh, seven pattern providers and one crafting CPU, but the rest are going to be mostly crafting CPUs. Not that it's ever going to be needed. Uh, and we have a whole bunch of ME drives. As you can see, two uh, large things with 16 ME drives each and I will be crafting all of, I'll be filling those with 64k ones because I have materials I'll show you in a moment and these are my deep storage units just to keep things going and um, here we've this is going to be our tesseract wall for everything that goes out so I shouldn't need the whole, more than the whole wall but never mind this will be our industrial processing so a similar setup to this, it'll be the same setup uh, all over the place. So each each quadrant will have exactly the same same setup, which is 11 pads of 6x6. Six six. But that is not what we're going to be working on today. I also built a portal just to make it easier to get to. Today we are going to be working on our mob spawn farm. So we have a decent amount of mob essence now, but not not quite as much as I would like. And what we're going to have in here is three levels of mob farm. I need to get rid of all this poison and all these stupid mobs. Um, <clears throat> we're going to start with the top row today, and uh, that's going to be slimes, endermen, blazes, whatever. We may not actually need all three rows, but I'll start at the top and then I can put other things that I want. I might put in a fortune quarry that's just set to always go. That might be a good idea. I really should build my alviaries. I've got enough stuff to build them. I have enough materials there to actually build them all. I just haven't got around to it. Alright, so I'm going to just quickly set up and then we will be back shortly. I believe we are sorted in a way. Okay, so the way we're going to do this one, this first one is going to be a bit of a special case because it's the slimes, and uh, slimes are going to be our primary means of generating mob essence. So we're going to have a slime module in here and we need to power this and we need to fill it with uh, mob essence as well so let's think how best are we going to do that uh, actually yeah okay so down here we're going to have our grinders so what we'll do is we'll, we'll quickly we we'll quickly sort this out a little bit because uh, like I said this has to be a bit of a special case and what we want is we only want the little slimes to come in here let's clear you out And we're only going to spawn big slimes. I know, it sounds a little bit funny, but you'll see what I mean in a bit. Right. So this way, no big slimes should be able to come in here. And what we'll do is we'll have our grinder. And we'll only, we'll only worry about one grinder for now. Because I think we only need one. I believe, anyway. 
Alright, so slimes will land on top of this. So in front of this. Oh, no, I forgot about that. That's my only issue with MFR blocks. Uh, is that they don't they don't place front facing you they it's front facing away from you which yeah okay in a way it makes sense but at the same time it's really annoying all right so what we want is we want our mob essence to just come out here actually you know what we'll just take care of this here so we can hide it away a bit I have my ender tank set up already, and so it's blue for in. And we'll make sure that this thing is always pumping out that way. Uh, I didn't actually didn't actually do anything about where the items go. I'll sort that out in a bit. This is all complicated stuff, you know. Cat's laughing at me as well. Just great. <laughs> and I don't know if this works, but if I set that like that, no, it doesn't. Ah, oh, wait. That's why that works. What am I doing? I'm floating around like an idiot here. Will that work? Oh, wait, 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 wait. It looks like it was doing something for a minute there. Hold on. Don't tell me that I haven't actually put a out pipe on here. You know I haven't. Ugh, I'm so stupid. Alright. The cat thinks she's being funny by sitting there and being all snarky. Saying things like no comment. We'll show her. Uh, da, 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 da. Green and grey. Keeping a standard naming scheme for your colours really helps. Uh, iron. I just want to show you quickly. Just I've I've only had those things running for a little while. The uh, laser drills. But some of the return on this is just nuts, and I'm still going to fill up this entire room. I just need to find a source of pink slime. I I haven't seen any pink slimes in ages, and I am hoping that eventually I will find some, or maybe somebody else on the server has a safari net with them in, and I can steal that. But until then... Well, what we'll do is we'll just we'll just flick this on for now. Okay. Is it pushing it into there? Uh, let's try that. Yes. Okay. Excellent. All right, that's that's made that nice and easy. I uh, just need to get power to it. So we can ignore that. That's going to come roof and then out. And I'm using a uh, rednet cable because it allows me to switch off individual bits. So I never have to worry about switching off the grinder, but I can 
if necessary, switch off the uh, The lag on the server at the minute is quite bad. Alright, perfect. And what we'll do here is we'll set this this one over here. To orange. Come back down here, and all right. Let's just set these to no connection, or oh, cable only. Cable only is fine. Just make them a little bit cleaner because. I don't really care for them all that much. Alright. Then... What we'll do is we'll... Just over here we'll set a Tesseract. And this one... Set to that. Set to power. that. Uh, to do receiving all. No, no, I didn't want that. For it actually, if it didn't have any color, but I don't think it actually matters. Huh. I thought I could pull power out of this thing. Right, well, we'll worry about that in a bit. If necessary, I can just uh, slap a... Oh wait, do I actually have to... I actually have to power it or something, don't I? Yeah. Well, turn it on. We'll worry about that in a bit then. Look at it now, now. Alright, so that's there. Get rid of this. Now comes the next part of the fiendish plan. Signs. Does that work? Ah, okay. So this can look quite good. I love floor signs. This is the best, one of the best mods. don't know why this is not standard. It really should be. Should be able to play signs anywhere. Alright, and... Because what we're going to do here... So we're going to place some lava, which I didn't pick up. Well, I need to get more clear glass anyway. It's nice that that thing is filled up though, that's all. That's very good. I really 
wish I could figure out why this thing isn't going, drawing power out. Maybe it just needs two uh, reds. Yeah, go away. <laughs> don't know why I don't have two red net cable. Uh, not red net. Um, let's get a lever first off, just in case. And. Just get another one of those. Just in let's all cover all our bases, you know. Don't want to be left short. Power down. Oh of course, sending none. Jeez, I am dumb. <laughs> and more clear glass, we're gonna need that. That's also something that I'm going to have to pull into this room, is making an, a, a smeltery in here, but make a bigger one. The one that's in the village isn't isn't really big enough for my needs. It can be bigger. That's what she said. Okay. That works out. Alright, that should burn all the big slimes and turn them into slightly smaller slimes, which will then get turned into even slightly smaller slimes. And those smaller slimes will fit in there and get hit by the grinder. So let's just double check here now. No, okay, it's still not. So what we need is this. No? Okay. Should be receiving power, but it's not. I may have to swap this out for something else. Right, we'll figure it out later. It's not essential that we figure this out right away. And I'm going to kill myself, aren't I? Because what we can do is we have these lovely resonant energy cells just to get us started. Alright, and here's how we're going to push them back. The fans. Look at them. And I'll just keep pushing and keep pushing. And then we want our slimes to go into the middle here. So I'm just going to break a couple of things. I've never played with this stuff, but I believe it is quite good if Armitage is to be believed, which he is, because the guy knows his stuff. Apparently that's quite relentless, this slime channel. Alright, so let's close that hole back up. And it doesn't flow away like water, which is a, is a plus. Oh, I don't know how much more of this we're going to need. But we can now just go here and here. Oh wow, those fans really do blow you away. Right. We will we will figure out the uh red net stuff. I'm I'm obviously just missing something there. I was very sure that you could just uh draw power from it. Uh we need <coughs> we need the slime safari net. Laggy 
Oof. <laughs> Whoa. Jeez, that was, that was so laggy. Yes, yes. See, since I'm the only one on the server and the only one doing stuff, uh, it doesn't have quite as many resources as the other services. We all we run quite a few from the one box, which is usually not a problem. But clearly, it's having some issues today. <clears throat> Come on now. This isn't quite right. I'm going to quickly just disconnect. Okay, so I got my uh, slime safari net. Not entirely sure why, but the server was struggling for a minute there. Oh well. Not a problem. Oh my goodness, and it started again. Jeez, come on. None of that went according to plan. <laughs> the fans just keep moving me along. Alright. Alright, that's got power now. Oops. This lag is not making this easy, is it? Still not got any energy. Right. Now it has. Right. For now, what I'm going to do is just remove this. Look how glue that slime channel stuff is. It doesn't move, doesn't do anything. It's amazing. Alright, and we'll worry about the items a bit later. I just want to give this thing a quick test run. So if we drop that in there. Alright, so I can spawn them. A little bit too far away. Okay. So let's just quickly take this out of here. But otherwise, that's a fairly successful. Uh, Essence farm. What we just need to do is we need to get the items out of it. Oh my goodness, look at this. Is that maybe still too high? I don't know if we actually got any uh, <laughs> any actual kills out of that. 
maybe a little bit impossible to tell at this point. Alright, I'm going to play around with it and see what I can come up with. And next episode we'll fill out a couple more of these and we'll have ourselves a nice little farm going. Maybe I need to move that lava blade up one more or something similar. Anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. You've been a fantastic audience as always, and I will see you next time. Adios.